And now, the thrilling continuation of the SML podcast. I was I was waiting so that it was actually something that was semi appropriate. That's all. Unlike ah. Pappy's numb dick. Yeah. No, uh, the fact that I got smallpox on his penis. On my penis, on my left arm, <laughs> which has, is rubbing, which is it, his it, other name for his penis. It had to be smallpox. Oh, uh, not big pox. No, seriously. Intro theme. By the way, Joe, I mailed you all the clothes that I rubbed against the smallpox. Feel cool. free to lay in it. <laughs> Just lay in it. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. What's up, everyone? I'm Joe. I'm Chris. I'm Pappy. I'm Jesus. And it's the podcast. I, I can tell. I, I can tell. I can tell already that this week is going to be extremely extremely slow. This is low effort week. Um because there is really not a lot to report. <laughs> uh breaking news. Nintendo is dropping the price of the 2DS to like what? Like 100 <laughs> bucks. Right? Yeah, yeah. From 129 down to 99. Uh you can trade yours in at GameStop for a whopping $20 cash. Yay! Uh and that's with your power up rewards card. Yay! <laughs> So yeah, Ian's here, our Jesus uh, impersonator, Jesus, our Jesus incarnate, uh, joining us via Skypes with the Pap, smear. via satellite with the smallpox, smallcock. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Smallpox, smallcock. I don't think they're related. No, well, they are in his mind because every time he thinks of me or anything related to me, he thinks of my dick. I, I think of his diseased rotting dick. Well, that's not. It's good. not rotting. I wash it. <laughs> I, wa- I wash it. It hasn't the- fallen off yet. <laughs> Do, when you got to beat raccoons away with a stick, there's a problem. Well, yeah, they're trying to get to my lucky charms. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> By that, I mean the corpses I keep in the uh, in the garage. And the text messages. Do, ra- do, do raccoons eat human corpses? I'm sure they would have given the disturbed. opportunity. No, I could see a possum eating a, a corpse. I don't yeah. know about a raccoon. I don't think raccoons are yeah. into They're, carrying scabs. I mean, they like wash that. their own food, so yeah. They're usually going to raid the garbage can. <laughs> I wash my own to. food. <laughs> I, washed, I washed this corpse. The raccoons <laughs> are like, this corpse is a bit too rotting for me. Mm. Mm. Yes, Great, would, now i got to find a raccoon and, and goo a monocle to it. <laughs> This would pair very nice with a with a nice dark red. Mm. I'm gonna have to go mm. get my rabies I'm shots. God damn it! Why am I getting so like I silenced my phone? Uh huh. Well, you apparently did it wrong. And now it's all like. Well, you obvi- you obviously did it wrong. Probably. So good news for everyone coming to Mag Classic. Which All is, four uh, of us will be there. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I got a hundred dollars worth of a card game called Super Fight, and I've just been informed that my card game that I backed from the oatmeal called Exploding Kittens. Exploding is Kittens. On yeah, yeah, so I'll have that with me as well. I pay the extra money, so I get the double deck plus the adult cards. So interesting. The I don't know what any card. of those are. Yay! Yay! Card games, and uh, actually, Super Fight is is easy enough that we could play that at the damn table. Nice. <laughs> we just have to make sure we have to, to make ignore sure all the customers to not ignore all of the customers. No, I lay down a card and I invite a customer over to draw a card and see who wins the fight. The, you can do the that. only thing I'm going to do for my entire six hours each night is every time someone comes up to ask, like, "Hey, what's this band about?" I'm going to be like, "I'm not even supposed to be here today." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this job would be so much better without the goddamn customers. <laughs> uh, preach it, brother. In a row? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you work in the graveyard shift. I, I'm going to be very shocked if there's going to be like long lines during the graveyard shift. Well, I'm, I'm sure like 12 to 2 will still be kind of... Well, here's the thing. Uh, it's possible. Two to, 
Two to four is going to be a lot of drunks. Yeah. Yep. Hey. hey, man, I gotta get this shit. Is this a 20 or a 50? Can you break it for what's me? What's this f- with the fucking f- mushroom? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> is that so, no, sir? It does not taste like purple. Move along. <laughs> you, is there, like, Cassette or the, what the, oh yeah, where's for, for all the metal bands? <laughs> yeah, for those of you listening, uh, all of us will be working at Mad Classic this year at Rock Island. Rock Chris Island. is somehow the man in charge, and all of us are somehow responsible managers. Yeah, uh, you despite stupid the asshole. fact that the people who run Magfest have known us, most of us for years, Chris for two, and the rest of us for fifty, uh, they still have decided that we're responsible adults. I'm just kind of sad. I've, description. <laughs> I've gone 13 years without ever volunteering for MAGFest. Yeah, same here. Yeah. I, you haven't I gone I 13 tempted. years, Pappy. No, Joe, in the last 13 years, never have I once volunteered for MAGFest. Touche. Uh, <laughs> however, I, touche. however I was, going this route, you don't have to pay for a room. True. In your or I, a ticket. And I don't have to feel like a mooching asshole this time. Exactly. Nah. Well, I didn't have to pay for a ticket anyways. Or or <laughs> listen to Josh snoring. <laughs> yeah, as long as as long as like Josh doesn't decide to like uh volunteer and he does enough hours that he's gonna request a room. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> we Josh should get makes Randall more money with than us. all of us combined. Yeah. Actually I I should ask Randall if he wants to um if he wants to, like, be, like, one of the other helpers. Yeah. Yeah, just Randall can crash into a room and you can just stuff him under a bed. Yeah, he could be our fourth. He's not running his own booth? I don't know. I don't know if he got one. And if he can't fit under the bed, he could just carve me open like a tauntaun. <laughs> <laughs> like a tauntaun. I think he, he kind of did that anyways. He will so have so would, much room. <laughs> that would make me Luke Skywalker, Chris would be Han Solo, and Jesus would be Chewbacca. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Or no, 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 because Randall Carve, you, you know, is inside you, so he's Luke Skywalker. That would make me Princess Leia, which you are. <laughs> you are a pretty princess. I was, I was, I was going to think of myself as a very cynical Obi Wan's ghost. <laughs> Just the most bitter, sarcastic ghost ever. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, yeah. Fucking do that with a lightsaber, you dumbass. Whatever, I'm dead. Uh, I mean, it's only shit. a precision instrument used by mystical magic space ninjas for magic God knows Mike. how many centuries. But yeah, you know, uses a Swiss Army knife, whatever. Don't forget the midichlorians. <laughs> magic yep, Mike. Midichlorians. <laughs> magic Mike 3. <laughs> Mag- magic begins. Mike 3, the saga begins. <laughs> <laughs> how to get no customers. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> video games. Video uh, games. Yeah, I played a video game in the last seven days. You liar. What's a, what's a video game? Uh, it's something I did when I took a break from all the anime I've been watching. <laughs> I've been noticing that you've been on Crunchyroll yeah. like every I day. I spent the whole weekend watching 30 for 30s, and then I spent the rest of the, uh, the last four days watching anime. So I got my sports and I got my cartoons. I still have that I Hate Christian Leitner 30 for 30 recorded that I gotta watch. I still need to watch that one, too. Yeah. I watched the uh, the Rise and Fall of the Big East. That was pretty neat. Had nothing to do with video games. So, anyhow, yeah, I, I played for <laughs> Zero um, uh, uh, from the Rare Replay Collection. And, uh, yeah, I, I would have loved it if I got it when it came out. It is literally the archetypal, archetypal, yeah, the archetype for first person shooters it's it's what i mean i knew what buttons to push before the tutorial happened like i was like oh this feels yep there's reload there's aim there's fire there's gadgets like it was the most amazingly everything i expected from a game happened and it gave me no more than i expected it was literally just it met my expectations cool but if i played it when it came out i think i would i would have been all over that thing but i uh i played halo See, I wasn't really like a big Halo guy. I didn't start getting into Halo until Master Chief Collection because I thought that that was a good excuse to get into Halo because yeah. it's like, hey, here's fucking like all of the I important see. ones. Indeed. When Halo 1 came out, we I was living in Japan. We would uh, go over to a guy's house and because they were you know, much more technologically advanced than us with cooler shit, we had people who owned fucking projectors. They'd buy them for like $200 over there. <laughs> 
So we'd have two Xboxes, eight controllers, and two projectors. We'd clear off the walls in a room and just play, you know, one wall and then uh, four guys on the other wall. That's cool as shit. Nice. Yeah, That's the way that you was the do only it. way to play four on four back then. You know, but it, yeah, it was cool as shit. But unfortunately, we had one guy who was really good with the sniper rifle and the pistol, and this, we all know those were OP as hell in the first uh, first version mm-hmm. of Halo. Yeah, oh, apparently the pistol. You can take seven hundred rounds from an SMG. Here's one pistol to the ankle. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and if they didn't kill you, the pistol whip afterwards yeah. would <laughs> finish you off. Basically, yeah, we had one dude who could hit. Uh, Hey, you at the other side of the biggest map while you were driving a Warhog with a sniper rifle. Was this guy an actual Get sniper? Get good. <laughs> no, he was brooch. <laughs> he spent ah. getting inside and outside of airplanes. Get good. Get it. Okay. Basically. Get good. Um, Shh. New Gittins. But no, yeah, he had an twin who was like uh, JTAC or something. Maybe they had actually switched and, uh, and uh, fooled us for, for a whole year. Cool. <laughs> wow! Wow, Joe. Just, that was a cool story. Ian, Bro. have you been playing any video games? <laughs> I uh, I just want to apologize to our listeners after the Motiga guys last week and such high expectations for the follow up. The only realistic thing we could do is completely shit the bed. Well, we didn't really Plus, get any help with news because there was fucking none. Plus, this is it quite came out on Tuesday. Nothing, nothing. really this week. It, next week, this is the calm before the storm. Yeah, next week is when the shit starts hitting the like, fan. Shit explodes on Tuesday Ew. with fucking Madden, Gears of War. There's something else. Dishonored, Dishonored. Yep. Gears of Madden. Yes. Gears of Madden. Gears of Dishonored Madden. Yes. Dishonored Gears of Mad. Mad. Dishonored Madden of War. Um, the week after that. The week after that is fucking Mad Max and Metal Gear. What so, are they on Metal Gear Five, which is really the tenth one? Something like something that. Something like yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. That's one of the reasons why I never got into it because there's so many, like they're naming style for their games like I, I can't figure out the order in which to play them well, it's still better than Street Fighter 2 Alpha version 7.5 Omega HD Classic remix. Edition HD Remix <laughs> HD <laughs> HD Remix <laughs> HD Remix um, with OC Remix Soundtrack Remix yeah uh, but so yeah. after that after Mad Max and Phantom Pain I'm not sure what's on the seventh, but I know the fifteenth is Forza. Yep. And There's I, stuff and I know, starts to drop. Like you and get, I know September eleventh is a whole bunch of amiibos as well as Mario Maker. And Magfest. Yeah, that mm-hmm. thing too. And Mag Classic. Yeah. Um But and, yeah, th- this is easily the calm before the fall storm of video games. Yeah. And then it's just like and then it's just fucking awesome games from like now until November. What a, December. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because just well, cause, I just, just cause Xbox. doesn't. I only pulled up the Xbox list, but yeah, Metal Gear on the first with Mad Max, and then Broken Sword Five, Super Toy Cars, and Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is the following. <laughs> okay. So yeah, play some Mad Max for two weeks. <laughs> Dude, Gamespot just released like an hour long. Uh, live play of the game. Yeah, dude, Mad Max was not even on my radar, and after watching that, it's just like, what so the fuck? My balls are from throbbing last week, when for you're this talking game. talking about how scarily quiet they were on that front, it looks like that they might have been doing a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even so realize like, if I realized who the team was that was working on it, like if I knew who it was beforehand, which I easily could have researched, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah, Avalanche yeah. Studios, the team that has also done the Just Cause games, which have been fantastic. And Isn't the, there a new Just Cause coming out this yeah, year? Yeah, December first. <laughs> so yeah, Avalanche honestly, has though, a once, busy fall. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm interested in picking up Mad Max because I need something to fill the two month void. Uh, and from what it gears looks like on fucking well, Monday? I'll play Gears with you guys, but again, it's the kind of game that I will not play by myself. 
Yeah, Gears is one of those games I won't play. Yeah, by I'll get Gears, either. and when you guys are online, like, you want to play Gears? Yeah, let's play some fucking Gears. Yeah, and then when we log off, I'll be like, yeah, I'm not gonna play any more fucking Gears. I'm gonna go watch Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to also remember that um, sometime next week or the week after that uh, is when I get my Diablo patch. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, also yeah. remember, Gears might. We don't know. Hopefully, it won't. But it might suffer from the Halo problem. So we'll get Gears now and play it in December. Well, you guys will get Gears. I won't have money for it. So. <laughs> yeah. So, Pappy, that means you and I could do campaign. Okay. Since and then when unfortunately Chris gets Gears, for Christmas, Gears... Then he'll join us. For yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Gears One is only two-player campaign. Right, and I would, I would absolutely prefer that you guys play through it than me play through it with one of you guys because I have no <laughs> I have no interest in actually playing like a lot of the game yeah I, the first game is the only one I came close to beating I don't know if I did or not but I played back in Jersey with uh, with Powder if you guys remember him yeah I do mm-hmm. yeah Good Chris doesn't because he never met the guy nope <laughs> the bottles of wine that we shared together <laughs> good old Steve-o yeah <laughs> um yeah, there's so there's like there's a lot of shit coming out, and even they just they, actually the one little bit of news that that I can drop that fa- that I just found out about today um, regarding Rock Band Four, and you guys probably won't even know what this is, but it was cool to me. Um, Bias FX, it's a, a a program that a lot of uh, recording studios, home recording people, like and even professional re- recording studios. Um, they will use to uh, mimic and simulate guitar rigs like amps and, and effects processors and all this other kind of stuff. Um, they're integrating that into Rock Band 4 for the um, improvised like solo section things. Uh, so the fact that they got them to help them with that section of the game is actually kind of fucking nuts. Cause Plus out of all have, the- like actual just play a fucking solo? Yeah. Pretty much. Freestyle. Yep. It's, uh, the, the freestyle solos okay. look crazy. Yeah, they look very, 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 very fun. Like, that's going to be the one thing that's probably going to make it where I'm going to want to play songs, like, more times than just, like, two or three. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Joe, what's your uh, highest played song in Rock Band 3? No, oh, no, no. Probably. Yeah, was that up to, like, 300? No, uh... I've had multiple save files because of the whole hard drive dying and diff- you know having a save file for customs and a save file for my old stuff. Uh, combined, it's probably close to 100. <laughs> Not exaggerating. <laughs> no, I, I believe it because you made me play it like two, three times. It's only two minutes long. You got to yeah, play Yeah, when Joe it. and I played, that had to be the last song of every yep. if we ever played a set. Unless Splink was there, then it was Hard Rock Hard Hallelujah. Rock Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I still can't sing that fucking song. Holy shit. Hello. Is that a, a telephone? <laughs> Regular that telephones right? exist? Yeah. I guess, and I, I guess we know who got the call. Ha, ha, ha. So what's up, Ian? How you doing? <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's there's a phone like right next to my computer that's about the same elevation as my microphone. So, well, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it I came mean, through. Per- it came through perfectly. A, a house phone. Yeah, yeah. That shit's crazy. Man, I what thought year the- is it? <laughs> what year is it? What year did I wake up in? Well, we're talking oh. about the guy who doesn't have Facebook or Twitter. So true. Yeah, and you're talking about the guy that is currently living rent free with his parents house which hey, has free. nothing to do with facebook or twitter <laughs> well no but have, wait ian do you still have the flip phone yeah all right yeah wait no I, no I don't use the flip phone oh or the track phone sorry yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. nice so oh. this man is is solidly in 2003 which no, is, I'm just a digital hermit. <laughs> that's perfectly I mean, I fine. Love how people, I love how people keep crapping on me. Oh, you're doing a Facebook. You say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, I don't crap on you. You're, <laughs> you're really not missing mean, anything. I went out and no, I'm I, not. I deleted 100 people from my Facebook, and, and I actually got grief for it. Like, God, why did you delete me? We don't God, fucking talk. God damn kids. Get off me. Yeah, like, my my opinion, like, if you ever watched the South Park episode, you have zero friends. <laughs> just think of me as Stan. <laughs> <laughs> I I mostly just exactly go through and I just unfollow people. No. 
Like, Twitter's uh, nice about that. Like, no one really gives a shit if you get followed or unfollowed. Well, no, I'm like, I'm talking about Facebook. So I'll go on Facebook and I will unfollow them so that their posts don't come up on my news feed. But then I don't have to defriend them so that they don't have to give me shit about defriending them. No, no, I I, I went and defriended defend deliberately you? because it was like, no, listen, you know, there's there's nothing that I want to talk to you about, like ever. At no point in in the rest of my life will I ever go, oh man, I really wish I was still in contact with this dude from Florida that I met twice. Well, yeah, I mean, like <laughs> for most people, that's the way that it should be. For me, because I have to like fucking whore myself out and promote myself, like I add pretty much anybody that sends me a request yeah. well, but honestly, i will that's... immediately like if it's someone that i like don't give a shit about what their opinions are about anything then i will immediately i will add them i will go right to their page and then unfollow them <laughs> like, yeah, well, what's what's weird though is i always see twitter as, as the more for for self-aggrandizement and and uh you know advertisement see, and all i just that keep stuff. i don't I keep forgetting that Twitter's a thing. Like yeah, I, just, I don't really <laughs> do the Facebook thing much, but if I, you know, when I write an article, when you know, when when the SML podcast comes up and all of that, I'm more likely to share on Twitter because anyone can grab it and share that out. So in, in that in that rare chance that someone checks it out, loves it, and goes, "Hey, man, you know, check this out." It's a lot easier for them just retweet me. Just hit like and subscribe, and leave, <laughs> leave a comment below. <laughs> Hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below, and just let us know what you're talking about. So, um, so if you have no. any ideas for a future show, <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave it yeah. in the comments. Yeah. Leave it in the we comments. We have below. no ideas, so we could use yours. Um, video game, video, <laughs> video games. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, I, well, Joe, you've been you've been catching up on uh, your Forza. Achievements, I right? I have been forzing like crazy. Uh, I did want to say because you brought up Rock Band. That there was actual news that everyone knows about Rock Band, or everyone will care, kind what, of. What, what's that? Uh, Van Halen is coming to Rock Band. Oh, yeah. They, they fucking they announced Panama. Yeah. And, Panama. and are we, more DLC Are we talking like DLC David Lee Roth follow. era? Or yes. Or yeah. Post. And, more, and more DLC to follow. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> some, it, they might, the they might not be everyone's, you know, they people might not care. I love that but, fucking song, so but I'm pumped. This is, I think this is a good sign because Aerosmith is on disc, Yep, which had Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Mm-hmm. Van, Van Halen, Halen is, is on, on Rock disc, Band 4. Which had Guitar Hero Van Halen. Uh-huh. What's the big one left? I, Metallica, I Metallica. guess. Metallica. There's nothing. I'm hoping what the f- that they come back. What the hell are they even going to put on there? Like, who, who gives give me a food, fuck? Give me fuck. Give me da ba da ba da. Everything. Bring everything <laughs> Every, everything. Give all me the entire things. discography. Bring all of uh, Death Magnetic, like they had on Guitar Hero. Mm. I say go for the old school and for you know Justice for All, Red yeah. Lightning. See, like Bring I have back Enter Sandman. I have, like I have some some old, like I have like what was it? Fucking Battery and, uh, and Battery was all? on Rock Band Two, but it never got. Oh, I hated that song. That was such a pain in the ass. <laughs> And Justice for All, I think, is one of them. Yeah, they they had a three pack. Yeah, which I has have since been pack. pulled from the marketplace. No, I still have it's it. Just, it's just the whole Saint Anger will be available on Rock Band. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shitty Fred. snare drum and everything. <laughs> Dude, that would be the trolliest thing ever if they're like, "Yeah, we got fucking Metallica." Here's Frantic. Like, <laughs> I like Frantic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like Frantic. Like, I'm not gonna you're lie. Living a liar. I don't care. You live in a lion. <laughs> my lifestyle <laughs> determines my death style. My my driving time. <laughs> Fewer than my driving time. Like fuck. It, I don't get, uh, that's like the only song some, I enjoyed uh, from that album. We we got to get some uh, some Limp Biscuit in there, dude. dude I dude. would act. I I would Yo. be so fucking happy if they actually put one of their songs in there. Like Honestly, if, if on break disc? stuff showed up, I wouldn't be angry. Oh my like, god, it'd be incredible. That'd be great if it was on even disc. Even if it's bleeped, we all know the fucking words. Exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I'm actually Faith. kind of I'm actually kind of surprised that they never put like Nookie on there. Well, they it's really DLC, avoided most isn't it? of the new metal. Period. I don't it might be, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty they, sure they Nookie's really, DLC. Uh, Linkin Park was the only one they grabbed, really. Huh? From from that era. From the new metal era. Yeah, there's some corn. I don't consider them new metal. Really? No. I really well, don't because they're way they're way heavier which, which, and they've which corn songs are on longer, there? Like I, I remember they're on there, but I don't remember which songs they used. I'm pretty sure "Got the Life" is one of them. 
Oh, yeah, okay. I, I really don't remember. Yeah, but for those of us in in high school at the time, that was an uh, that was an important song. Like I want to yeah. like I want them to add. I would love for them to fucking toss in some Fear Factory songs. I would. Oh, that'd so be awesome, dude. Oh. dude. I picked up the totally unrelated to video games, like the rest of this podcast. Um, I picked up the new Fear Factory album. It's awesome. How is it? It's it is one half amazing old school like late nineties Fear Factory, and like one half Factory? yeah. And one nice. half the new school weird not my thing bleeps and bloops digital era. Well, see, but the thing is, is like they were very like you take like Digimortal and you take like some of the other stuff. They were incorporating a lot of that electronic type of sound. So yeah, that's yeah, actually them that going so back to their the roots a little more. The first six songs are just hardcore fucking headbanging metal, and then the, the last half of the album is yeah, it's electronica it, with with some weird screaming and noise effects in there and. <laughs> It's not really. I mean, that's not my genre at all, and it's just so weird to hear the, both of those styles on the same CD. Well, because that, I it makes sense to me. Like Fear Factory, I've been following Fear Factory since I was a kid. So like, mm-hmm. Fear Factory is one of my favorite bands. Like I'm I'm very mm-hmm. familiar with their their discography. And yeah, if you I've really seen them play live twice, but I really don't care much for most of the stuff after Digimortal. See, but even still, You're like, living a liar. No, <laughs> that's their well. What was it? Uh, Me- Mechanized that that album. That was honestly that was one of my favorite albums from them. They had fucking they had a uh, uh, I can't remember his uh, Gene Hoagland. They had Gene Hoagland drumming for them, which was fucking incredible. Gene Hoagland's one of my favorite drummers of all time. Um, so they got him in, and that album was like start to finish. That was one of my favorite albums they ever put out. It was. Well, great. Joe remembers when we went and saw him in '99. Hmm. First God, I wish you saw him in '99. Never seen a crowd more anxious to have the have a guitarist throw a half empty bottle of water at him. <laughs> True. Well, I uh, from what from what I understand, they don't have the best stage presence, but that's okay. I don't care. I seen um, twi- no, no, I saw him in Mississippi in '01. Uh, there were these signs on the, the. It was an outdoor concert. There were these signs on the sides of the stage that said, uh, "Please, no crowd surfing. No this. No that. No you know whatever." Right. And at least singers like. Give me some, give me a fucking knife. And then you know some roadie passed some box cutters. He cuts them, cuts down the signs, throws them in the crowd. It's like now everyone get the fucking crowd surfing on those shitty signs. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> oh, Burton. What do you yeah, think, you know. See, and that's the thing. Like Burton, <laughs> Burton's one of those dudes where it's just like I don't care what the fuck he does, I'll listen to it. Like, yep. I mean, he, he just has that kind of voice. And the one thing, you know, you know what new album actually um, ended up growing on me a little bit because I picked it up, um, and it's completely relevant because of the band that we're talking about is uh, Cold Chamber, because Cold Chamber and Fear Factory are on a, a tour right now. I missed them like they, a couple days ago. They were down in Philly, um, which makes me very very upset that I missed that show. But um, Cold Chamber's new album is very it's very Cold Chambery. I wish it was a little bit more melodic, but it still fits. And it's not bad. Um, so if you're into the whole like new metal-y thing, like be sure to check that out too. I'm just super. I I can't wait for new soil work in like a week. I'm like I'm super fucking pumped f- for that. They're so, like yeah. my favorite band. The Video SMO games. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. This is better than it. what we were gonna not talk about anyway. I have I have uh, been listening to a lot of music from Forza. Yeah. <laughs> like um. Uh, Actually, my current playlist that I've been falling asleep to at night is just Horizon Rocks from Forza Horizon. The, the first, first one. one? Yeah. Because so, yeah, so Ian, falling asleep to Lost yeah. Profits <laughs> makes me happy. You're, uh, Gross. you're more of a PC gamer, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So what have you been playing? What kind of stuff have we been missing, you know, good to our Xboxes and Nintendos? Well, I really haven't been playing a whole lot. Uh, I've been actually plumbing the depths of Steam and trying out all these weird little macabre indie oh, like the little free-to-play titles. Oh, free-to-plays. Find anything good? Uh, just some potential nightmare fuel. <laughs> 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 like, just weird... Ma- I mean, like I said, I mean, some of these... I guess they're, like, psychological... I don't want to... Well, yeah, I guess they're kind of psychological. I mean, they usually take on maybe, like, 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes, give or take. And they're just very bizarre little things... Uh, like point and like click adventures, to, sort of, kind of like there's there's one called finger bones, finger bang, and finger bangs. Nope, 
Uh, <laughs> He's played the game, me, and that's, a, what, that's not the good reaction. Me, let me explain the premise of the game, and then you can ask that question again. Let me explain <laughs> finger-banging to you. <laughs> I'm ready. Open ears. No. Well, Open it's called finger ears? Bones, and you pretty much have no idea. Like, It doesn't seem that the title of the game has any relevance to the game itself until the very, very end. But basically, you're this guy in this bunker, and you kind of have to go around and figure out where you're going while you're doing it. It's kind of one of those... I don't want to say like missed, but basically you're thrown in this situation. You have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what the context of the situation is, and you have to kind of explore around, pick up little notes. So yeah, I like journals and stuff like I that. I understand that. <laughs> yeah, except it's not like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and turns out you're in this bunker, and you pick up all these notes and stuff, and you learn that I guess there is some sort of apocalypse that went down, and it's kind of roughly alluded that it might be. It might be zombie in nature. They're they're really vague about it. It's one of those you know let your imagination get carried away and fill in the blanks for you kind of things. But apparently, this guy took refuge in this bunker with his daughter, who's probably somewhere around like eight to ten years old or whatever. And there's some sinister insinuations involving this daughter. And I guess you find out that the guy eventually had to cannibalize his daughter. <laughs> What a and fun a really, game. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why it's called Finger Bones is that at the very end, when you unlock his safe, he still retains the finger bones of his daughter that he keeps as a sentimental memento. <laughs> so basically, you find out that you're the father, and at the end of the game, you pretty much lose your mind. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I need to spend more time on Steam. So yeah, that whole thing about finger banging, that might have actually been a thing. There's some rough finger, insinuations that something bang. like that might have happened. So anyhow, um, so she got finger boned. <laughs> finger, she since, got finger boned. You're into horror and you're you're a Steam gamer. I might be able to get you in on this. I'm trying to find enough people to play Dead Realm with. Dead Realm. It's um, I've been these guys are sick of it by now. I'm sure, but I, I watch these uh, guys on YouTube, and uh, some of them got together with with a studio and they made a Steam game called uh, Dead Realm. It's basically hide and seek with jump scares. Shut the like a bunch of people go to hide. Uh, you can make clones or you can put up little the... bubbles to stop the evil, but you know the bad guy is like a werewolf or or a butcher or a, or a oh, zombie. Oh yeah, like, like the guy the guy that's funding everyone is some sort of like mon- supernatural yeah, monster. You can go like invisible and, and and all that stuff. Yeah, and then you scare okay. them to death, and then they rise up and they help you hunt the survivors. Okay. It's okay. just it's it's hide and seek with jump scares. It's it looks like a lot of fun to play, but. Joe, maybe I might be able to get him out of, but Chris is just out. Like, yeah, he's he's kind of squeamish. To that kind hey, of Pappy, thing. you realize you're asking me to play a PC game, right? Yeah, but if if it came down to it, I'd, I'd buy you the PC game. Again, if nothing you're... else than to get on a group chat and hear you cursing in frustration at the controls. Joe, your character hasn't moved in like 15 minutes. What's going on over there? Are Fucking you ha- left click. Are, are you having problems playing it? And I'm just sitting on the Xbox, like, yeah, I have, I just uh, <laughs> having problems. Can't figure it yeah. out. Give me a couple more minutes. I think, uh, I think Mad Classic might be the right place to find enough people interested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another game I've been playing that's free to play, and you know, not the stuff of nightmares, is uh, a game called Nosgoth. It's insight. <laughs> uh, basically, like take like I'm I'm sure you guys have all played Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2. Sure, yeah, heard of it. Okay, basically, kind of take that kind of premise. Uh, it's basically like vampires versus humans in a more arena oriented combat, and there's no common zombies. So basically, there's like a handful of classes for each side, and each round is about ten minutes long, or until you know one team gets the target number of kills first. You know. So whoever has the highest score by the end of by the time time runs out, or whoever gets to thirty, and then you know teams switch and play again, and whoever has the highest score cumulatively at the end, you know wins. And I've been having a lot of fun with that. It's actually based uh, thematically. It's based off of the the Legacy of Cain Soul slash Soul Reaver uh, that's cool. mythos. That, that's an old school. Yep. Callback. Uh, and also, it's uh, I do believe it's being handled by Square Enix. And it's free to play? Yep, it's free to play. And, and the nifty thing is is that uh, 
it's I'm not going to say pay to win. I guess you could say pay to convenience because technically speaking, if you go in under the free to play model, you kind of have to you know play through, build up the in game currency to unlock certain stuff like that, or you could effectively quote unquote buy the whole game, spend forty bucks, and you have everything unlocked for you already. Ah, uh, okay. So, but so it's not microtransactions. It's just you can play nope. it free, or you can save yourself the time and buy it. Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, yeah, there's there's nothing. You know, I mean, there's no advantage to actual, you know, using actual money currency or anything like oh, that. Oh, so it's not like, game breaking? No, absolutely not. No, I mean, it's it's the only. I'm trying to think. It, like I said, it's. I guess you could sit, call it pay for convenience. Yeah, because I remember so, uh, the conversation about what was it, Mech Warrior, and then mm-hmm. the game breaking when you bought, and when you paid. Oh yeah, thing, no, yeah. they. Oh god, don't get me started. On <laughs> no, me and my friends used to play Mech Warrior online until they came out with the Clan Mechs. And basically, the clan. I mean, uh oh. Hey yeah. now. <laughs> it's it's. Well, you, you'd have to be involved in. Okay. Yeah. Basically, I read the books, when the game, when, yeah, when the game came out, I'm just going to start throwing arbitrary numbers. When the game Your came color out, there's robots let's say, aren't around, allowed around. There's like here. twenty, a set twenty amount of max. You could either purchase them with, you know, real money currency to have in game, or you could agonizingly build up the in-game currency in order to eventually buy them. I mean, it's it's sort of that thing where it's it's pay for convenience, but the build-up just by normal playing was just slow enough that it would really test your patience, and sometimes you just want to say F it and just buy it all. But anyways, um, after one of their huge updates, they released all these new um, this new gener- I guess new generation of Max. I don't I know you guys aren't familiar with the story in the background and yeah, all that. The clan mythos. Were, they, they part of humanity ran away from the the known wor- worlds for a couple hundred years, came back with better technology and and was like, "Fuck it, we're taking over everything now." Yeah. So. This this is how we believe the universe should be run, so we're going to fight you for it. And by fight you, it's pretty much repeated kicks in the junk. Ooh. I mean, curb stomp. But the problem is, is that all of the, the this new generation of mechs, just stat wise, are just vastly superior in every way, shape, and form to the original models that came out. And for the most part, you could only get them if you actually paid money for them. Yeah, because the stats is true to true to the mythology. I mean, but only yeah. being able to buy them is just a dick move. <laughs> yeah, but the. Yeah, the stats are true to the mythology, but the thing is, is that like for like you know Chris and Joe who know nothing about that, it's game breaking. It pretty much each match was won by whichever team had the most newer generation max. I mean, their weapons on average were always better than the the original generation. They're always a little bit faster, always a little bit more armor. I mean, it's it. I just still remember the good times playing uh, Mech Warrior and running around with a locust, going, "Oh, I'm still alive! This is amazing!" <laughs> yeah, Chris, I, I mean, feel like, like we could be playing Diablo right now, and the podcast wouldn't be any different right now. Yeah, welcome to how I feel every time you talk about Nintendo. Shut the fuck up! No one asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with, with it. Nintendo. I'm fine with it. Yeah, less hey, work for us. Morning. Yeah, but getting back to Nosgoth. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was available for console Steam because I can definitely... I mean, it's like a third-person sort of uh, deal. And it, the system, the combat system is simple enough that, I mean, I could see it easily translating into, you know, like a game controller type oh, So format. you don't need 47 buttons hot keyed? Nope, nope. Nice. I mean, your basic movement your sight, and then like maybe three buttons for abilities. Joe, that's it. what was the, the big game that came out years ago that you had to have that special rig to play? Steel Battalion. Steel yeah. Battalion. <laughs> which I still want. There, I there, was, there was a... I think we well, had the joysticks we, at the store at I one want, point. I want the box. I want the full fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, wasn't there was one for sale years ago at the one Magfest. It was like five hundred bucks or something. Way too much. Oh, for that. oh, I think I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like it's pretty much your own jury rig cockpit. Yeah, you got to buy a fucking special chair to play the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> See, Chris, you spin around in the chair and you fuck up the headset. It's fine. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it's fine. You son of a bitch. This is what happens when you let Joe and Chris get bored. So, hey, Joe and Chris, what's going on? <laughs> uh, hey. I, I was going to say, we might not have Nosgoth free-to-play coming 
but I know Xbox One is getting a pretty big free to play game next week. Next yeah. week? Next oh, week. Oh, God, I know what you're going to talk about. Disney Frozen Snowball Fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you're talking about Go Gigantic. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Gigantic's going to take a bit. Yeah, yeah. But the beta will be out by the end of the month. Allegedly, true, true that. Oh, allegedly. Well, we can, now, d- d- can I play as the reindeer? I don't know. We'll find out next week. Why are we getting codes? <laughs> it's free to play. Yes, we're getting codes. no for the beta. I thought he was talking about the reindeer and Frozen or something. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were talking about if there was a reindeer character in fucking Gigantic. I didn't no, see I'm, a I'm reindeer right in frozen. Gigantic. I wouldn't put it past him. True. <laughs> hey, it worked for One Piece. Yep. That's very true. Teddy bear with antlers. But yeah, the, the Frozen game is just going to be one of those fucking match three gems. It looks like Bejeweled, kind of. I'll play the fuck out of it. I don't care. Because it's not even out yet, me. and it has two fucking stars. Yeah, from haters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even out yet, and people are like, oh my god, punk, fuck this game. Like, punk bitch haters. Well, I think that's mostly parents. Like, oh god, fuck no. Please, no. No, I'm sure it's no from neckbeards who are like, god, I want this for the good. I'm like, fuck, fuck, okay. Oh, ew. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what that reminded me of. <laughs> like, why can't they just give us more card expansions in uh, Magic I, Origin I, I need, Duels? I need more Yu-Gi-Oh expansions. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you actually talking with a dick in your mouth? No. When aren't Although, I? Although, you, know you know what else I forgot to mention that comes out in like a couple weeks? Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're still gonna try and get us into it, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm not dropping fifty bucks on it, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy the fuck out of that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll buy it buy so hard it, 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 it hurts to install. I'm gonna buy the fuck hey, out of that. Hey, I, hey, I have a, I have a quick question. Yeah. Can you kick? Can you kick fifty yard field goals? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, there are thing? no field goals in Blood Bowl because fuck you. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a key point for me. I mean, if there's if, no if field goals, there that, are totally literally no field it. goals in Blood Bowl, so you can't do that. You can't pull any of that bullshit. It does okay. make. <laughs> Although, if you do want to pull off day. some bullshit, you can make a goblin team, and some of the uh, the the bigger goblin players, you can actually pick up the small ball carriers and throw the person with the ball. <laughs> Okay. So instead of like trying to pass the ball, you just pick up the entire person and throw the person. Blood Bowl. Say, yeah, that's the that's the Warhammer 40k thing. Yeah, right? it's, it's well, yeah. yeah, it's well, no, no, not 40k. It's just Warhammer. It's the old. It's, oh. it's a what? Yeah, it's a Warhammer. Oh. Like it's the old school, the original Warhammer. But yeah, it's it's gotcha. it's a turn based strategy game based around fantasy football, and football. sort of. It, no, like it, fantasy, it, not not drafting your own players, fantasy, but the fantasy world. Um, yeah. there's a very in-depth, like, player, like, there, there, there are tournaments that people have done drafts for players for certain teams and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, the, the normal hey, game. I'm, I'm watching one of the videos for it, and there looks like there's a field goal. There are no <laughs> field goals in Blood Bowl. I, I'm, How do you know I'm, it's Blood I'm Bowl? seeing one at the, in the end zone right here in this video, right on their main page. Oh, oh yeah, it <laughs> might physically be there, but you cannot <laughs> kick a field goal. Like, the you action doesn't exist in the it. game. <laughs> Maybe it's new to Blood Bowl too. No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't change the entire like scoring Pre- system of the pre-order game. Pre-order now for the Wood Elves. Uh, it's different. It's well, a different team right on, on, on PS4, I think. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Fuck the wood I still don't care. <laughs> um, I'm no, the thing that's boom. the thing that's interesting about it is uh, I, it's it's kind of like the way that the game kind of even just came about. I like some of the backstory to it. So like this in this. In the future, this dystopian kind of like thing with Warhammer, the the whole reason why I'm they started out for another ten minutes, I'll be back. Um, the the whole reason why Blood Bowl is a thing is because <laughs> they were they were digging through like ancient artifacts, and they they found this book called the Nuffle, um, and it explained this like ritualistic type of sport. The um, Nuffle, the NFL, the NFL, yeah. yes. Um, so it was literally just like a rule book and a playbook for the NFL. So they made this sport loosely based off of the NFL and they made their nice. own kind of like leagues and stuff for it. 
I, th- I I think it's fun as fuck. I enjoy the game a lot. I've been playing the tabletop version of it. I might enjoy it like, more playing with a person, but playing with a PC bored the shit out of me. It, until you understand the game. Because, like, even, like, now that I understand the game, because I tried it, like, ages ago on the 360, and I'm like, fuck this game. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. But once you actually, like, if you have someone help you along, like, learning the game the real way, and if you try and, like, think of it as this is actually a board game, and it's just being transferred over to a digital type no, of I format. All, I knew all that when it came out. I, I didn't. didn't care. I had no, I had no clue. So I originally picked it up because I was like, ah, football game with, like, orcs and humans and all this shit. This should be fun as shit. And I was like, wow, this is stupid. Um, You know, I thought I would like it because I liked all things Warhammer. The 40K, the original universe. uh, I liked uh, the Warhammer 40K board game. So I was like, yeah, let me me play this. Or not board game, but, you know, the tabletop. Right, right, right. No, I I I was like, yeah, let me get this. This is the first time they've really ported something to console, because the only thing they'd done before then was uh, some 40K games only for PC. Right. And I was like, yeah, oh, I don't like this at all. (laughs) Yeah, oh. (laughs) Uh, No, I actually do, um, on the PC version, I do uh, tournaments, like, regularly. And you can actually download, there's an iPad version. The iPad version is actually free to download. You only get, like, three teams, but you could just download it and play it. I hear they're working on a new 40K game for consoles so fingers crossed there's no date but what is it uh space hulk oh yeah i i mean uh, that uh, that i that i can see happening that i understand but yeah yeah i mean i've been enjoying blood bowl so i'm excited for blood bowl 2 and to see what they do with it so we will see um aside from that yeah i've been playing a lot of diablo i mean i I'm just getting ready for the patch for next week, so. There's really... Did we get an email? No. What? Oh, never mind. Space Hulk is already out for Steam. Does us not getting an email really surprise you? Well, I thought... I thought, uh... I thought Randall was sending one. Well, he's a lying son of a bitch. What a son of a bitch. A son of a bitch. Way to go, Randall. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things. Randall. Is there, li- is there an- any news that we have to actually like cover from last, sure. last week? Is there it's anything just you guys actually- are too busy talking about like Blood Bowl Games. and Coal Chamber. Well, because I didn't, I didn't know if there was any news. Uh, Joe, don't be upset that we found things to talk about that just didn't interest you. Who are you? <laughs> I am Seabiscuit. A former Wii U game hit PS4 and Xbox One this week. Oh, yeah. Did you play that yet? Zombie has released, and no, I didn't play it yet. But uh, it's out. You have it. Uh huh. It's a thing. It is a thing. So you have to do homework for next week, then. Yeah, we'll see. You have to play it. I'm excited about all the games coming out next week, including Mega Man Legacy Collection. Uh, yeah. Which is Mega Man 1 through 6 all bundled together. For like what, like $15 or something I stupid? think it's 15 Yeah. Uh, it has a shitty achievement list, that's for sure. It's like beat yeah. 1, beat 2, beat 3, beat 4, beat 5, beat 6, beat all of them. Uh, <laughs> beat <laughs> beat all challenge mode. Yeah, beat them all without dying once. Beat all. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Good luck beating one without dying once. Yeah, fuck that. I can't be one. <laughs> Gutsman stage in those moving platforms at the beginning. Yeah. I, sh- yeah, no, I, I, I wanted to shoot myself as a kid trying to play that because we spent like five bucks to rent it for three days and I couldn't get past those fucking platforms. Those fucking yeah. platforms. Well, those fucking well at, least, at least you didn't have a bugged version of uh, two because I had a... Uh, uh, and I didn't find this out until like after I started hanging out with Shale in college, just to give you a rough time frame. Mega Man 2 was probably one of the first Nintendo games I ever bought, and I thought it was a really awesome concept. I just hated it because like none of the weapons worked. Like I, <laughs> that's no, I'm right. Not you were saying like none of the boss's weaknesses were working or anything. Yep. Yeah, because because I remember I was playing I was playing it somewhere, and I remember you kept saying use the metal blades, use the metal blades, and and I, and I was like, no, they're worthless, they don't do anything, 
And then I watched you play, and like I was just completely blown away. I, you know, and I suddenly remembered, oh yeah, that's right, because you know, because Shale was saying, oh, you're supposed to use this guy for that. I'm like, yeah, I, I thought that would work, but it didn't do anything. I mean, it does less damage than the default blaster. So you somehow had the hardcore version. Yeah, basically, you. I mean, like there, you know, like there were certain things that worked, like when you use the uh, uh, the freeze, the flash freeze in uh, Quick Man Stage, you get through all those lasers and crap. But if you actually tried to use, like, for example, like the bubble weapon on Heat Man, it it did like you'd empty out half the tank and it'd probably do like about three bars of damage. Wow. So I basically had to beat the entire game using the default blaster. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> That sucks. Especially like because if had, in real life. you still li- had that copy, that'd probably be worth something. Yeah, in real yeah, life, right? Metal Blade is the most OP weapon in Mega Man history. Yeah. Yeah. With fucking yeah, bananas. I mean, and like I used, I'm trying to think, I used the crash the crash bombs to break open walls and stuff. Like, you know, environmental stuff that helped me get through the stage I used, you know, certain things for. But like when it came to which weapons were supposed to be used against which bosses, I had no idea because none of them worked on any of them. <laughs> Like I remember, I remember when I first read. I think it was like I think it's the Leaf Shield that's supposed to take out Airman. Yeah, I was uh, like that blew my mind because it's like how, wow, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, another game came out this week. Yeah, for uh, i devices, Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah, on iOS. Oh yeah, rebuy the same game for the low low Square Enix price of nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> but it's the convenience of taking it with you. But now yeah. you can play it anywhere that you Fucking want. Square needs to get their shit together with mobile pricing. Twenty yeah, dude, fucking keep dollars. Keep it, they'll keep charging it. Twenty dollars, yeah, it? and it's gonna sell like crazy because it's Final Fantasy Seven. Twenty dollars. And, and people just jizz their pants when they see FFVII together, like <laughs> and a dollar uh, oh, sign. Oh no, there's it. a third eye. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there there was a Final Fantasy I I was seeing ads for, and I forgot what it's called because it has a, some weird bizarre like it's like Final Fantasy. Let's see, because fourteen's the MMO, right? Type zero. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, it's like Final Fantasy. Like it was it was 15 a, Type zero slash something something re what? I mean, it, it sounded like a Street Fighter. Type. It was an well, HD. It was an HD remix of the PSP one. Yeah, not really oh, a remix. Okay. It was just it was like up res. Yeah. And it included okay. it the first run included a demo for Final Fantasy fifteen. Okay, so that's probably what that was. Okay. Cause I saw that and and I remember it confused the heck out of me because I couldn't figure out what exactly it was in relation to all of the other games in the series. Uh none of the games are really related except for the actual like ten. Well, 10 I, I I didn't know what it was for or because oh, it was supposed we, to be it was the H D remake, but I'm like of what? We have and a I correction. I was wrong about the price for <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven. It's fifteen ninety nine. Oh. Who does yeah. fifteen ninety nine? Make it fourteen ninety nine, jackass. Seriously, sixteen dollars. They got to get that extra ninety nine cents in. One point you know? six jiggle bits. Jiggle bits. <laughs> bits that jiggle. Jesus da, da, Christ. Da, 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 da. Description: As this application is very large, it will take some time to download. This application takes up around two gig of memory. Over four gig of free space is required to download it. So make sure that ample spare memory is available before attempting to do so. On your iDevice. Holy balls. That's big. And this Holy is why balls. I enjoy my computer with my X terabytes worth of free space that I still <laughs> haven't begun to fill. Yeah. <laughs> Special features for iOS edition. Play using a simple and comfortable virtual controller designed not to obscure the action. A virtual every, con- so you can't even like every virtual controller is a piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. Wow. Well, well, it's Final Fantasy: Up, Down, Left, Right, Attack, Magic. Mm-hmm. Still, what the? They can't integrate touch controls to a, like. That's stupid. Two new features to make play easier and more convenient. The iOS edition also includes an option to turn enemy encounters off. Wait, what? On the world I'm, I'm and area okay maps, and max and a max stats command to become all powerful in the blink of an eye. Jeez. So the game plays itself. It basically, so basically, the only thing they're missing is the skip to cutscene button. Like I don't <laughs> want to play it. Just skip to the next cutscene. 
I just want to watch the movie that it presents. <laughs> oh, Aerith. <laughs> No man. Uh, just find like somebody playing through it on YouTube, and then just like, yeah, watch. That's that. how I experienced eight. I watched a, a coworker every night. He'd come to the back of the dorms, get shit faced drunk, and play eight and yell at the screen. And me and uh, another <laughs> guy just watched because it was the most entertaining thing in the world. Eight wasn't it the Dawson's Creek of the series? Kind of. I don't know, it was one of the gun fights. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was the Dawson. Yeah, that was the Dawson's Creek of the Final Fantasy series. Yeah, the Dawson's Creek. Well, now I want now I, mean, I want them to remaster it and use James Vanderbeek as the voice of the lead character. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I mean, basically, eight eight was the reason why they changed the protagonist to be plucky and mischievous in nine because there's there's only so much emo post pubescent angst a player can take before he just gets fed up. Yeah, eight eight was story wise can still be pretty rough. No. But uh, I've since, never played a Final Fantasy. Since we're talking about Square, uh, they announced a new world for Kingdom Hearts Three. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, San Francisco. Yep, Big Hero Six is coming to Kingdom Hearts. I think that's yeah, cool. My, my favorite movie of last year. That was a good movie. That, that was, was a very good movie. I'll probably go watch that after we finish this podcast now. <laughs> It'll only be my seventh run through of the movie. Nice. <laughs> and I, I still have, have no a lot children. of those like <laughs> Pixar, DreamWorks, Disney movies that I have to like get through. I still got to see Inside Out. I, I feel bad. That I, I want to see too. that. Yeah, I still I haven't seen that. like. There's core ones that everybody else tells me <laughs> that are really really good that I've never seen. Like I guess like was it like Transylvania House or That's people say that, but Disney. I'm so sick of Adam Sandler now. Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania. That's there's, not there's Disney. A coming out next month. Mm-hmm. What is that? Is that DreamWorks? I don't know. It's not. No, Disney. I think it's no. It, yeah, it was an imp- independent thing. Yeah. Um, I still have never oh, seen oh. Finding Nemo. I kind of want to see the new one simply because they got Mel Brooks to do a voice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he plays uh, Adam Sandler's father. Nice. Um, I've never, uh, I've never seen Finding Nemo, which they're supposed to do a second one of that now. Yep, Finding Dory. Well. Yeah, the, the sequel <laughs> thing surprise. pisses me off that it, it looks like they put Incredibles 2 at the end. Hey, I'm just happy it's happening. Yeah, I've never seen need, Incredibles. Do we need Toy Story 5 before Incredibles 2? Uh, Toy Story 4, 4 was announced. No, they're doing 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Didn't see yeah, that. Trilogy. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked at this point. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah this is where... Uh, Andy comes back for his toys, and then him and his girlfriend use Buzz as an experimental butt plug. Absolutely I, possible. I would expect more that they would try converting him into a bong. <laughs> no, no, they do that with with Buzz. Yeah, <laughs> or Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> no, definitely, but Buzz Light, Buzz Lightyear. They just fill his helmet up with water. True. <laughs> more like Buzzed Lightyear. <laughs> exactly. Precisely. Tim Allen does know a little bit about the uh, the old marijuana. <laughs> Mar- marijuana. Hey, might as, might as well get those uh, toy stories out while Don Rickles is still around to do potato. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Aww. He's he's not a spring I'm chicken anymore. Tree. Dude, where are you coming up with these analogies from? Like, what? Where? Wh- You've never heard that term being described a as a spring, spring chicken? chicken? Yeah, that's really common. Because the spring chicken is all happy and young, and then come fall, we fucking murder it and eat it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I don't know about those kind of references. Well, that's because you're no spring vegan. chicken yourself. But I'm fine. Yes, I, yeah, I'm vegan, but I never heard that before. I wasn't vegan no, my entire life. No, veganism has nothing to do about hearing no. colloquialism. No, you're, in other words, you're a product of the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> you missed yeah. out on all the really good, good turns of phrases. Goddamn kid, get off my lawn. I'm 26. That's the beauty about our age. God, damn that's the beauty kids. about our age bracket is that we can start calling people out for being. Son, well, what's weird about our age kids. bracket is is there wasn't <laughs> constant cable, like there wasn't a thousand channels, so we were forced to watch a lot of the older stuff that our parents and even grandparents enjoyed. I had to you watch know, Green watched, Acres as a kid. I, I didn't watch TV. Rascals. I listened to the radio. <laughs> I watched the Little Rascals on VHS and my grandparents. You know, I watched 
westerns with my dad. I watched fifties movies with my grandmother. Yeah, kids nowadays don't need to even think about that shit because they just bring up fucking you know any TV show on on the touch of a you know not even touch of a button. They just push push a fucking iPad and boom, there's a movie. God they don't have to go kids. back any further than they remember. In yeah, goddamn, get off I my lawn. I remember back when. But MTV I feel like you miss out though, because you know my favorite comedians are still the Marx Brothers. You know, I don't oh, think yeah. anyone has ever been f- consistently funnier in a, in a fifty minute you know span of time. Ever. <clears throat> I completely understand, man. I, I I even now like I'm only twenty six, and even now I. I condemn like a lot of younger of the younger generation because I'm like, dude, like, how how many how many of how many of kids at this point do you think like let's say 15 and younger, how many of them do you think have actually like built a fucking tree fort or like yeah, no, the outdoor mm-hmm. stuff was fun. Now the one thing though I'll ca- contradict myself is with video games. I do not give a shit about playing the classics. Because there's such a bigger time sink than a TV show or a movie. I can't spend 40 hours playing Final Fantasy 3 just because all of my friends love it. Well, I understand yeah. that, but at the same regard, like, you can't you can't disregard all of the classics. Because let's just say, like... I don't say, disregard like, them, but I, I can't sit down and play them. Yeah. I understand I mean, that. That's, that's one thing I noticed, especially after I got out of college, is how, like, I mean, back quote unquote back then you know I was always big on the super you know RPGs you know Final Fantasy Chrono Cross Chrono Trigger you know all that kind of stuff you know like I used to be big on the Dynasty Warriors franchise and like now everything like, I, I just play. do not have the atten- you know <laughs> it, I don't know if it's older wiser just more better prioritization more important stuff that I need to work on it's like I can't even begin to sit down to try to play a grand scale RPG or JRPG like that nowadays yeah, I, I I don't have the fucking I don't have the patience for it. Well, that's why when I buy Fallout, I play Fallout. For, that's the only fucking game I'll play for the next month after it comes out. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's I have this much time to play video games. I'm playing that game. <laughs> you know, Balls right now it's been kind of fun. I've been doing a lot of multiplayer stuff with Chris and Joe because there's just no game other no game that I want to be like, oh, I need to play this now. You know, so now it's like, oh, I want to play a video game. Let me see what they're doing. Now, nowadays, I find myself trying to find the one game that could be like a time sink that you, you can just focus on Diablo. one game. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like that's that that's my time sink. You know, for it, me, it's honestly, it's got to be fun. I, I actually really enjoy playing with you guys more than solo playing with most games because. Well, then play with us so more, fun. you dick. Yeah, no, we didn't spend like twenty fucking hours playing the last week. It's true. It's just we the didn't last do three shit days. the past week. No, the last three days. I meant the, you know, yeah, a we week. Did. for a week straight, we played almost every day. Yeah, all we right? should do that more often. <laughs> yeah, we we should. Now you want to come over here and, and take care of all the studying I have to do for the next two months. I'll be more than happy to play video games with you in exchange, dude. If I go to Vegas, I'm not helping you study. I'm going to like hookers. All the hookers. There mm-hmm. are no hookers in Vegas. Sorry, street performers. <laughs> street, <laughs> street performers. <laughs> How far do you think I can get this up my vagina? <laughs> How many balls are in there wink, now? Wink. God damn email. Dude, your Jesus phone is Christ. blowing up this it episode. Is. Blowing <laughs> up. A good thing First I time turned ever sounds you. off. <laughs> yeah, you did a really good job at that. You fucking. None of those are Dude, emails? I'm- None. No emails. Not for us. Yeah, I'm looking for a game I could really sink my teeth into, but it's just it's one of those <coughs> Diablo. I want to do some I want to do something, but nothing's appealing to Get my an Xbox One. Fickle taste at the moment. <laughs> that was that was a good one, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Get an Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Xbox One. Hey, if you can front me the cash. Nope. <laughs> nope. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We're actually selling our day one edition. Ashley has some friend that she met on Game of War who's going to buy our system so that we could put that and all these games I'm selling on that Glide website to get the Forza console. (laughs) Well, I'm selling games to afford it, so it's not like... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. once Once I get a system, it's like, yeah, that's the system I got. You know, it's blue. I know it looks badass. Don't get me wrong. I, blue. I, it looks cool, but, 
but I I have no reason to pick up a different console other than <laughs> thank you, Joe. Um, showing showing the email thing. You have no mail. Please enjoy your day. Um, once I have a console, unless that console blows up, you know, it becomes faulty or something like that. I really don't have much of a reason to get rid of it, unless they come out with a new version that has different, like, legitimate features. You know what I mean? Like, if they were to come out with like an Xbox One, an Xbox One Plus, you know, where it was like, oh, it's got like. Uh, an, another video chip in it so it does better graphics or something like that like then i would consider it but if it's no, just like the the xbox one uh diablo 4 edition oh see God. now that i would get you creaming your pants that i would get because can I, can I just enjoy the fact that i'm going to get a new game console and it's not because one broke and was called the playstation <laughs> yeah, <but> 4 <laughs> i, I won't even say you're getting a new console you're getting a the same console yeah. with a different color. Getting an upgraded console. Is it is it honestly upgraded? Does it have a bigger It's a memory? one terabyte. Okay. So it's upgraded. And All it's right. blue. And it's, it's, and it's blue. It has nothing to do with it. I can fucking make your black one blue. Is the, and the, and the controller has like rubberized texture grips. I was going to say, I think the controller is different though, yeah. right? It, uh, it's also the new version of it, the controller with the headset adapter. With the headset adapt. All right. Yeah. So that's... That. And the game is included. Sure. I would expect the game to be included if you're getting, But it's like, still an, an Expo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an Xbox One Plus. No. Which they need to make an Xbox One Plus now. Why? Just because I thought of the, the <laughs> terminology and then... It would be called a Slim. We all know that. But what if it was... Instead of it being a Slim where they scaled it down, if it was like the same size but they put more shit in there no like no what? call it the slim make it twice as big like the size of a receiver <laughs> <laughs> what would they put in it another graphics card Ano- no and I then, then that would be a new console because card. all the games made for that won't work with the old Xbox. Dog, it would work bones <laughs> would absolutely work it's so basically so it's, the, it's in your Xbox. think of it think of it like how they did the 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 3ds and then the new 3ds it's not like it was a completely different firmware it was just this is faster now and then there's games like xenoblade which won't work on that normal 3ds or no just install windows 10 on it yeah nothing could go wrong windows 10 is coming in it november is on, it, it's literally like in it's like already two out months. i know well, i on meant on xbox. xbox it's on xbox coming one. in november yeah. Oh, oh gotcha. the, the joke was that nothing could go wrong. That was the joke in that whole sentence. Well, I'll probably so find out. Everyone knows I, dude, nothing could go wrong, so it's not necessarily a joke so much as an expectation. Yeah, I, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> other other than me being an idiot and not paying attention when I was upgrading to Windows 10, I haven't had any issues with Windows 10 so far. No, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Why? What? What'd you do? What, what were you I, an idiot I, about? I lost some files because I'm a dumbass. Oh. So was it user oh, yeah. error? It was absolutely user error. Okay. You were yeah. supposed to read that before you clicked it. Words? I just clicked through because I'm that. like, I clicked through because I'm like, yeah, I probably don't have anything important. And then like after I was already done, I was like, oh wait, there was that one thing, and then there was that <laughs> other thing, and I'm like, ah, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, well, chances are we'll find out how Windows 10 is on Xbox allegedly next month for preview. Right? It's supposed to hit yeah. preview in September. No guarantee. I'm sure it will. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Because yeah. there's already people that are kind of like messing around with it. Yeah. So I know we were supposed to hear more about backward compatibility this week. Uh, nothing came out yet. There's still like another day or two. Yeah. But uh, maybe it'll be by, by next week. Yeah. And we'll remember to cover it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, Army's the one horse adventure. Backwards I, compatible. That'd be great. My horse and me too finally try importing that uh there was a bit of news that i've been hoping to well i've been trying to get to for about uh an hour now get to it now uh rainbow six siege oh the beta delayed really it is now coming out december 1st Uh, yeah but that's not yeah that's that's not but it's still delayed sure from what was it, October? It was coming out. Uh, Two months right. isn't a bad sign. That sounds like we j- they just need to clean some stuff up. Yeah, but yeah. it's still news. It got delayed. Yeah. Sure. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, you know, when they delay it six months, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Right. Not necessarily. Two months. That's whatever. 
they delayed The so, Witcher well, five months. Well, we need months. to put a little more polish on it, or we yeah, want to double check something. Yeah, The Witcher ended up turning out pretty okay, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The Witcher's fucking amazing, actually. Right. I mean, there's still glitches in it, but a game like that, you're, I would almost there's expect There's glitches it. in everything. Yeah. But yeah. So, glitches Chris, what are you eyes. playing? We already covered that, Joe. Really? Yep. Because I know I was asked... And I kept getting cut off before I could really give answers. Well, you were talking about Forza. So, for like two seconds, and then it oh, yeah. transferred no. over to something else. Joe, we didn't assume you were done. We just stopped caring. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, snap. So you've been playing, you've been <laughs> playing older, <laughs> older, older Forza games so that you can get like the last of your Forza like, Pappy. game points, whatever, yeah, from the fu- hub, fu- right? Fuck Pappy. Well, yeah. No, so, but what what have you been playing aside from Forza? Forza. <laughs> yeah, for- <laughs> well, I've I've been really big into the original Forza Horizon recently. Uh, I finished off every event in that game. Like that's a lot of work. All of them. There's a lot, and of it was time. fantastic. It actually makes me more annoyed with Forza Horizon Two, and how long and drawn out they have to make that game. Because of all the goddamn road trips. Yeah. Like, at least in Forza Horizon 1, when you beat the game, you could just travel around to the events, finish them up. Forza Horizon 2, you have to go to a city, do one event with, like, four races, and then drive to another city. You have you, to actually drive? Yep. Yes. It's, it's more of a step-by-step process. Yeah. So they finally got that... Penn and Teller's Magic School Bus into a video game, huh? Not really, because it's it's still a fantastic game, and driving is fun. Yeah. But I just want to beat the goddamn championships and not have to do a five-minute road trip in between each one. Oh, so it's a simulated trip anyway. It's not like you're really driving. No, you are you're really no, you're driving. you're driving the whole yeah, you, time. Yeah. You they, can't they, fast they, travel like, for a road trip. You know, London to France, it wouldn't be a five-minute road trip. You're still driving from one city in the game to another. I'm saying, though, is it's not real time. No. Why the fuck would it be real time? Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it would. You Here, drive from, the... drive from New York all the way to San Francisco. This is yeah, not you desert that? real time. Penn and Teller, the desert game that never bus. happened by Penn and Teller where they were going to have you drive a desert bus, bus real time. Desert from, bus. Like, Phoenix to Desert LA. bus. It's desert bus. Desert bus, whatever. Okay, I heard you. You're still driving a bus. I don't care where. And and it is a thing that people can play. It yeah. never released at retail, oh, so. but okay. it's still a game you that you can easily download and play. See, I never knew you get your hands on it. Yeah, That's it's called Desert funny. Bus. There's people that do runs of it every year. They do a charity marathon. For how long does it take? <laughs> to drive like five, one time? Was it like, like five hours? Six hours, I think. Yeah. Six to eight, something like that. I don't remember the exact. But yeah, once you drive there, you get a point. <laughs> a point. And then you can turn around Yay. and drive back and get two points. Another point. Yeah. Yay. So basically, if you have more than five points, you seriously need a life. I think they the one year they got to like 13 or something before someone <laughs> oh, wrecks. Oh, oh, say play till someone wrecks. Pretty much. And when you get re- when you wreck, you get towed back to the start in real time. Oh, in real time. <laughs> real time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So desert bus again. What is it like? Drive for the cure. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, they do a charity every year, and it's All right, pretty I'm awesome. Check that out. Uh, Chris and I we played. Oh my god, that just keep is just terrible. keep just keep talking. Chris and I played Super Mega Baseball a little bit. Which is pretty. It's that was like, the biggest chin I've ever seen on a video game cover. Huh? Oh, the chin! The, oh god! Yeah, the, the chin. The game is fan. It's awesome. Fantastic. It's really good. It it brings me back to the days of like Ken Griffey on Super Nintendo. Um, because it's very arcadey. It is very okay. arcadey, but there's a lot of there. There's a lot of in depth like yes. stat statistics, kind of like micromanaging that you have yeah. to kind of do too. I, it's it's very similar to Forza Horizon. It's as in depth as you want it to be. Sure, <laughs> and you have to uh, run from your apartment to the stadium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Well, no. A, a lot of people are like, is Forza Horizon hard? Like, it's as hard as you want it to be. Like, the amount of assists and difficulty selections. You know, I'm going to use that everything as a else. line. <laughs> I'm as hard as you want me to be. <laughs> You're welcome. Giggity. <laughs> But yeah, we Let stream me know that. If that, that works. Was fun. Yeah. Ladies? I, I have ladies. been streaming on Twitch frequently. Uh, oh, really? Getting some new followers? As, aside from when we played Quiplash and had like 20-some viewers, yeah. I think I've gotten up to one so far. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, though. I'm going to be studying all day Saturday, so if you want to play some Quiplash, let me know. <laughs> or anything. We might we matter. might have to do another quiplash section. Yeah, that that quiplash stream was actually pretty ridiculous. Fun. Yeah. Oh. It was the I'm best not. and the worst of 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 people. It was. And I got all yeah. but one achievement in the game. What's the one that you're missing? You <laughs> I like I could easily just cheat this one, but I kind of want to try getting it legit. Uh-huh. Is you have to enter meatloaf candy as an answer and win. What? What? You have to enter meatloaf candy <laughs> as an answer. So you're trying answer. to wait for that to be an actual winnable answer before you use it? Well, I didn't know about it until after we played because I'm like, what the hell achievements am I missing? Meatloaf candy. Yes. Meatloaf candy. And to think that you might have been so close in putting that in yeah. at oh, some yeah. point, God. at some time. I'll admit, I, I did cheat one achievement. What? There was one where you had to get uh on the last laugh get seventy five percent of the vote. How did you cheat that? By starting a three player game and just giving all the eight points to one person. Oh, it doesn't matter if you get it, it just has to be Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how the achievements are in that game. Like it doesn't give a fuck who scores the points, it's just that it happens. As long as yeah. as long as you're the one hosting the game. Yeah. Since yeah, only one, I, I can see how that'd be a real pain in the neck if it had to be you specifically. Yeah, because everyone would be fighting to try to get those specific achievements. Well, the game's crazy in that I can host the game, like it'll be my game on my console, and I might not even play the game. Yeah, yeah you just be audience. Yeah, yeah, I could just host it because whoever the first person is to log into that room, they get the a host of the game. Yeah. And they control everything from there. Nothing is done on the actual console except starting the game. Everything is done online. Yeah, via either, you know, a, a, a you could use a smartphone with an internet connection or like a home computer. You can use or anything with a web browser. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But yeah, Quiplash was a blast. A blasty blast. Yeah, Quiplash is a good time. Good um... So we, we might as well call it. Pappy, he's like masturbating or something. <laughs> Let's call it. Sure. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Last words. Well, no yeah. one asked about last well, words. Uh, well, because I don't know who. I, well, Ian, Ian should get the last words. Yo. I don't know if I really have any last words. Well, you're getting them, <laughs> since you are our oh, guest. God, the pressure. Uh, you just um, have to. But, you, you just have to come up with something witty, and well, then whenever you say something witty, I'll know when to stop. Well, the let me see if anyone gave us any music suggestions on Facebook. Yeah, I was gonna right? say you guys haven't even mentioned music. Well, we kind of changed the whole music thing. Like, if we have oh. something specific, well, I can hear like, Ian's voice from like eight feet away. It's because you're stupid. No, because I know how to rumble the subwoofers, baby. Yeah, well, no, I, I took the, my little headphones off to uh, <laughs> front of the restroom. And I come back, I can hear you in the, it, when I enter the living room. <laughs> He's got that voice you have boisterous there, voice. <laughs> and DCT said yeah. to play him. Play him. Can you request? You can request yourself. I didn't sure, know that was not? a thing. <laughs> well, uh, a, well, you never said you couldn't. Zach true, said... Yeah, I guess that's up. true. Yeah, Zach said maybe some tracks from the Club Nintendo Smash soundtrack or some of Bound Together's greatest hits. Could always do a little bit of them. And then uh, Adam McLaren said the Proto Man, but I'm not a fan of the Proto Man, so we're not going to play them on SML. Yeah, that's something you're going to find, ladies and gentlemen. Joe, uh, when he decides he's not a fan, he stays not a fan. 
Hey, I sure reason I checked them out at Magfest a few times at Bit Yeah, no, no, I'm just. It's I'm just, just not my kind of music. Yeah, you're not one of those people where people are like, "Oh yeah, try this album. It's different." You you tend to be very much like, "I gave them their chance. Not my thing. Stop trying." Yeah, like I I tried the proto. I like I don't give a shit about '80s rock operas that aren't actually video game remixes. Like it's just a rock opera about In Mega Man, of. kind of. <laughs> Well, it's like, I mean, technically, and, and, and I was and I was honestly contemplating doing this just to kind of, like, show how much uh, I, I, don't, I don't really get it. Um, I was going to specifically write a song from my original project and literally just use nothing but fucking Diablo references. I'm like, does that, uh, does that become a video game song just because it's based off a video game? I don't feel like it does. No, because a lot of rappers use, no. you know, rappers and singers will use references from video right. games television they're not making an homage to it they're just referencing it yeah, yeah. so well, that, on, on that one the- hand i can understand if someone's trying to do something a little i don't want to say new but maybe something quote unquote creative or original because i mean i know i know like the four of us have heard certain video game songs so much that we just the like anything <laughs> like, like i mean i love the Mega Man 2 soundtrack but i mean how many times do we tune out wiley's stage as mm-hmm. white noise, the moment it True. starts playing played. True. I mean, it's good music, I mean, and I, you know, it's nice to listen to. But I mean, I don't think the Proto Men are a bad band. Yeah, like I yeah, just no, their I style them. isn't your it's, cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. I can understand why they're popular. I can understand why they have their fans. They're asshole fans. Like I think a no, lot of, Pro- of I think a lot of Proto Men fans are dickheads. Like I've a bit Gen like. I think the one ups were playing, or some someone else. They're like, "Man, this band is stupid. I wish they just stopped playing so the proto men could play." Well, what was the age of the person saying that? Twenties, probably. See, I would have guessed teenagers, honestly, because you know we were all really dumb and loud about our opinions in our twenties. Oh no, they they were just teens. they were shit talking every yeah. band that wasn't the proto men, yeah, and, and of it, course well, they just... had their makeup all done up and. Yeah, those those are just dumb people. I mean, I had the same thing. I went and saw um, G- uh, Jerry Gaskill, the drummer from King's X. Uh, I saw him in this He's little a shitty. Yeah, I, I, he was awesome. It was awesome, and it was a shitty dive bar in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And this guy came on that no one had ever heard of, uh, Hamill on Trial, and he blew me away. It was just this one dude in sweatpants with a fucking acoustic guitar singing. Really, really good songs and some comedy stuff. Some some pretty funny ass comedy stuff. But yeah, there was just this group of douchebags at the bar. Like, I was just a fucking old man. We just get off the stage for and some. The, the headlining act was the shittiest band of the night. It was some you know shitty proto metal band from New Jersey. Mm-hmm. You know, you got Jerry Gaskill. Fucking people know who he is. You know, he's he's playing on the bill. You got this guy, Hamill, who's just fun as hell, really, really talented. And then, you know, these guys are sh- rather than going, oh, hey, look, new music. Let me see if I like it or not. They, they would rather badmouth it before it even begins. Yeah. And that's just, you know, that's just myopic vision. It's the, it's the narrow mindedness. I'll just say yeah. it wasn't an isolated incident with Proto Men fans. No, I believe it. But yeah. I'm like just there's the it's, good it's and there's shame. the bad. I've, I just feel bad for them because they're going to miss yeah. out on all the good shit by being douchey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's yeah. He's not he's not holding the bad attitude of the fans against the band itself. Yeah. Right. Like, but he's pointing out that they're too cool many the people. They're they're cool yeah. people. I've you know hung out around it's them. Just their fan base is retarded. <laughs> I just and I don't care about the music. Like I'm not an '80s music fan, so automatically yeah. I don't give a shit about their music. I've watched a number of their concerts. It's just not for me. So I'm not going to play them on SML. Yeah, Sorry. That's fair. Yeah, they'll live. They're mm. the biggest draw at a lot of events, so I'm sure they can handle not, not being on our show. Well, yeah. uh, there's a there's a band I'm not going to I'm not I'm not going to drop any of the information because I I I actually can't. But there's a there's a band that that they're trying to pull for Big Mag and if they do like there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, uh, this doesn't make sense, but in the same regard, like, I feel like it'll make sense, and I think it'll be cool, so I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to go. So, Oh, we're getting Linkin Park? 
<laughs> no. If it's nerd culture related, the only really big thing I can think of that they haven't had yet is Anamanaguchi. Jonathan Colton. That'd be sweet. That'd yeah, be Jonathan Colton. Insane. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not allowed to say anything, but um, I didn't know that it was kind of like open to just like nerd culture-y things. I thought it was specifically well, just enough. like... Yeah, it's big it's, enough now that I feel that they're comfortable branching out to yeah. where you might see uh, an MC... Uh, not MC Chris. I hate him as a human being. Um, MC Knockbar. Yeah, one of the MCs, <laughs> you know, something like that. I could see them playing in future events. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, man. I think Magfest is gonna. Magfest is fucking sweet. Yeah. Welcome to the SML podcast, where we talk <laughs> a lot about Mag Magfest music and sometimes video games. Yeah. What? <laughs> Basically. Well, I mean, we are getting we are getting to the clincher for Magfest, so it's not a big surprise that we'll be yeah we'll yeah we're going to be. Time on that. Uh, I will just fun. say I miss the days when like the one ups and the mini bosses and Arm Cannon yep. and Wave Theory yep. were the headliners. Oh god, oh god! Don't mention Wave Theory. I'll start crying in the corner. Oh, I know. <laughs> there there were like two there there's like two or three Magfests where I only went to the concerts for like I mean Wave Theory was the band that I was holding yeah. my breath for. I think it'd be and cool they if they got up. Super Square, but I know they're not really game related at all. Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, they incorporate. Well, t- technically, like what Machine Supremacy only has like three songs that are actually related to video games, but they incorporate video game sounds. Yeah. Well, they're also yeah. in video games. Well, yeah. like they sure. did the soundtrack for Guiana Sisters. Yeah, which is why we can get out of Monoguchi because they did the soundtrack for Scott Pilgrim. There's so many people who are like, oh, is Scott Pilgrim coming to backwards compatibility? And it's like, well, the game was pulled from Xbox and PSN because the licensing is up, so probably, probably not. Probably not. Uh, well, I'm glad I still have it then. Yeah, a lot of people are bummed. It's like, I never bought it when I had the chance. It was out for years. I never played it. Yeah. That's your own fucking I brought uh, Scott Pilgrim, the movie, to work, and uh, never have I seen more confused people in my life. <laughs> like, yeah. half of my coworkers were loving it. Like, this is awesome. And the other half were just like, this is the dumbest fucking thing in the world. And I'm like, well, you yeah. don't, sir. Well, then, yeah, you don't, don't, don't get well, it. That's, I don't that's give the, a fuck. I love that you know, movie. That's the thing about Scott Pilgrim is that, like, you either get it or you don't. There's no in-between. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm, oh. I'm sitting there. Like, there's a, a few parts where I'm even kind of like, yeah, this is pretty <laughs> embarrassingly stupid, but, you know, that's any movie really has those parts in it. No. That That's... Yeah. I mean, the... I, I didn't... I'm trying uh, to think, didn't, like... I don't know if it was the director or something, but someone in the... Produ- like, on the top end of the production for that movie pretty much described it. It's like a musical, but instead of breaking into song, they break out into fights. <laughs> I was going to say, that's, that's the perfect and, way to end our show. What? Yeah. SML podcast. You either get it or you don't. you don't. And I can guarantee that you don't. You won't. You're not listening. You don't care. You can't hear my voice right now. And we still just suck. Well, you SML. went from funny to really depressing. Uh, in yeah, right? I, I tried to no, no, end wait, it, and Pat was like, you, "Oh, we're gonna talk some, right now." Blah, 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 you, you want blah, some blah, parting blah, words blah, of wisdom? Blah, blah, blah. I'm ready. Yeah. It has nothing to do with anything we've talked about at all. With, without Pappy talking afterwards, preferably. <laughs> so we could okay. fucking end this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me find I'm going to fondle my here. penis instead. Oh, God okay, this probably isn't even as nearly witty as it sounds, but let's see here. Give a man a match, and he'll be warm for a minute. But set him on fire, and he'll be warm for the rest of his life.
Life is but a moment The single grain of sand That slips right through the hourglass And slips right through your hand You've shown me how To make each moment count And I know now What life's all about
my beans wax cracking yes indeed yo my volume knob is broken so i act like i don't need that all you hear is clap heavy on repeat got a feeling for a new track but we call it that new crack yes i'm a fool but that doesn't change the facts that i like my music louder than an 80 dollar sack and the cops come cracking down on the face that i slap yo if you see i'm pointing them out my nigga i act like that ain't nobody If I'm in the car and at my job, I go equally hard. Banging TGS about every week. Let me preach and give me my elbow room. Almost lost my position because of Yelp review saying it's loud. My nigga is too loud. I can hit myself in. Can you turn that itch down? Why you screaming for silence? I'm trying to rock out. So you gonna have to suck it up and listen to me. Let it be known that I'm killing the beat This is how I probably would 